The title of this lecture is The Rule and Potential of Civil Society. That's one of three sources on which countries can draw to enhance their people's welfare. The other two sources are government and the market. It was like to me, narrow and a broader one. The narrow usage refers to organizations outside both the state and the profit driven sector. The narrow meaning of civil society refers to organizations that are both independent of government, government and not directed to their members' personal profit. The broader definition of civil society is used by Antonio Gramatico. It refers not only to organizations external to the government and the market, but also to values ethics and conventions tending to maintain the beneficial working of society. These functions are interpreted as being built on what is called active humanity, namely human propensities for trust and trustworthiness, a sense of responsibility for others, and tolerance and encouragement of ideas, creative activity and innovation. Civil society for the operation of the state and the market can be stated as follows. One, conventional and accepted signals of trustworthiness and the resulting trust reduce the transaction costs of commercial buying and selling, lending and borrowing, employing and investing. Also, raising government revenue through direct taxation is difficult without some habitual sense of responsibility to pay the amounts prescribed by law. And finally, without the habit of innovation, enterprise, development and enhancement of public services are unlikely to proceed far. Now, let us indicates the role of civil society in resisting corruption, upholding the rule of law, and safeguarding human rights is exercised and stimulated through two activities, exposure and correction, both of course overlapping. The activity of exposure involves investigation and publicity of deposits and of legal and the other remedies available. The other activity, which is correction within the law and the requirements of public system, involves demonstrations, personal looking, letters, or petitions to those in power, actions through the courts, or the use of electoral politics.